Very few people don't know the movie and music legend Doris Day. She was one of the greatest singers that ever lived and was known to have sung over 650 songs during her lifetime. How she managed to combine singing and acting and be successful in both still remains a mystery. However, today we are going to be looking at 8 major facts about this iconic woman and revealing all there is to know about her, so stay tuned. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you're missing out. Quickly hit the subscribe button now and let's get started. Number 8. She Lied About Her Age Home to the America's oldest baseball team and a plethora of celebrities, Doris Mary Ann Kappelhoff was born in Cincinnati on April 3, 1922. She was the daughter of William Joseph Kappelhoff, a choir master and music teacher, and Alma Sophia, a homemaker. Her parents are of German ancestry, but they were both born in the United States. Day was the youngest of three children, with two older brothers, Robert, who died before her birth, and Paul, who was three years older than her. Her parents separated shortly after her birth due to her father's infidelity, so she was raised by her mother alone. For a long time, Day lied about her age, stating that she was born later than her original birth date. It wasn't until her 95th birthday that a team of journalists did a little snooping around and found her birth certificate, which confirmed that she was two years older. Number 7. She Wanted to Be a Dancer as a child, she loved dancing and took tap dancing and ballet classes with the dream of becoming a professional dancer. She formed a dancing duo with Jerry Doherty and even won a local dancing competition that enabled them to travel to Hollywood to achieve their dreams. However, it all changed when Day was involved in a ghastly accident that completely shattered her right leg and left her with a double compound fracture, which left her dancing dreams in doubt. To make matters worse, she suffered a fall while she was recovering, which made her condition worse, thus ending her ambitions of becoming a dancer. During her recovery period, she listened to the radio to pass time and fell in love with singing. She was particularly intrigued by the voice of Ella Fitzgerald and tried to match it. Her mother observed her new interest and engaged the services of a teacher who described Day as a promising student, saying that she had tremendous potential. Number 6. She beat 200 applicants to her first job Barely eight months into her singing classes, she was already working a small-time job as a vocalist on the WLW radio program Carlin's Carnival and also at a local restaurant, Charlie Yee's Shanghai Inn. She got her first major job shortly after, when she caught the attention of Barney Rapp while she was singing on the radio. Rapp was a jazz musician and orchestra leader and was in need of a female vocalist. He had auditioned over 200 singers, but none performed as well as Day did. Working with Rapp exposed her to many more opportunities, and a few years later she released her first hit recording. She got to work with some of the greatest like Bill Crosby and Les Brown. In no time, she was touring the U.S., making a name for herself. Number 5. She was married four times In March 1941, she married Al Jordan, who she met while in Rapp's band. He was a schizophrenic and had a long history of violence, even today. Barely the second after their marriage, Jordan physically abused her because she accepted a wedding gift from a male colleague. When she fell pregnant, he beat her up in an attempt to force a miscarriage after she refused to get an abortion. She did, however, give birth to a healthy baby months later. They got divorced in 1943, and he later took his life. Her second marriage was to George William Wilder in 1946, and they were together for three years. Two years after her divorce on her 29th birthday, she married Martin Meckler, an American film producer. He produced many of her movies and adopted her son, who changed his name to Terence Paul Melcher. The marriage lasted for 17 years, until Martin's death in 1968. Her fourth marriage was to Barry Comden from 1935 to 2009. Number 4. She Never Wanted to Host the Doris Day Show When her third husband died, it came to light that he had been involved in some shady deals and not only squandered her money, he also left her in a huge debt. She was only saved from complete financial wreckage by his early death. She also learned that she had been signed up to host a show and feature in some TV specials by her third husband before his death. She, however, pulled it off beautifully, and the Doris Day show ran successfully for five years. According to her, she only did it because she needed the money desperately, but it turned out to be a fun ride after all. The TV show wasn't her first rodeo on screen. She had previously appeared in several other movies and was actually one of the highest-ranking actresses in the global box office. She had also featured in several TV shows and continued to do so until her retirement in 2009. Number 3. She Was an Animal Activist 
There was one thing Day loved as much as she loved singing, and that was animals. In fact, she met her fourth husband at her favorite restaurant after he gave her a bag of bones and meat scraps for her dogs. He did later complain that she cared for her animal friends more than she cared for him. Must have hurt. Her love for animals, especially dogs, was stronger when her dog was killed by a passing car during her teenage years. She lived with the guilt and loneliness and took animal welfare so seriously. She denounced the wearing of fur and even founded the Doris Day Animal Foundation solely to help animals. She also consented to the establishment of a facility bearing her name in 2011. Named the Doris Day Horse Rescue and Adoption Center, its mission was to help abused and neglected horses. She also donated $250,000 to fund the center and was also the owner of a pet-friendly hotel called Cypress Inn. Number 2. She was terrified of planes Despite the several movies where she had to play a character on a plane, Day was actually scared of flying. She developed this phobia in the 1940s during her tour with Bob Hope, who often had to fly in bad weather. Due to this fear, she never boarded a plane and even had to miss several important honors and award ceremonies, including a tribute at the Kennedy Center because she didn't want to board a plane. Number 1. She died at the age of 97 On May 13, 2019, Doris Day passed away from a bout of pneumonia at the age of 97. Per her requests, there was no funeral, no grave marker, no public memorial of any sort, just an announcement and a solemn final rites. Her belongings were auctioned off, raising about $3 million for her foundation. We think that she lived a fulfilling life and had an amazing career, getting the best of both worlds. Let us know if you agree in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos if you haven't, and stay tuned for more. See you next time.